So you know the saying, show me who your friends are and I'll show you who you are. But in today's day and age with the lockdown and everything and us having no friends, and because we're all indoors, the saying should be, show me your phone's homepage and I'll show you who you are. Copyright Tosifa Sane 2021. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. What's on my homepage of the iPhone? What are the apps that I use every single day? So there's two types of people in this world. Those that use multiple homepages and those that use only one. I'm the latter. I, I, if it's not on my homepage, I'm not using that app. Like, I, I don't know why. I just hate having to like, you know, scroll to different homepages to find whatever you're looking for. I'm not doing that. So here's the thing, right? If I'm using only one homepage, then that means that homepage is gonna be very cluttered up. Very important decision you gotta make here when you're designing a homepage, and that is whether you're going for form or function or somewhere down the middle. For this particular time period in my life, I went full function. Like, I didn't care one bit about the form. And you know what, guys? I wasn't always like this. It's just recently, you know, I've, I've, I've become like this. Yeah, I guess maybe if you guys, you know, sub to the channel down below, hit that like button, share this video with your friends and family, then maybe it would make me feel a lot better. But nonetheless, I'm at a period of time where I have very little time in my life to do anything. And because of that, when I pick my phone up, it's straight to the point. Cut to the chase, no BS. Like, like the intro of this video. I don't know why I dragged you along. All right, let's get into it. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna work through all the widgets first and then we'll work our way down the apps. So first up, calendars. Very innovative name for a calendar app. But this app is probably the one I've been using for the longest time. Uh, it's made by Riattle and it just it just gets the job done perfectly. I absolutely love this app. I love the way that all your events are displayed. Like you can see the names. I hate how in Apple apps you just see like little dots. This really helps me plan my week ahead of time and it really helps me visualize what I need to do for the rest of the week. And when you're actually inputting an event into the calendar, it's smart enough to recognize when you type in, for example, subscribe to Tosif at 2 p.m. when you get home, it will recognize the 2 p.m. and home and it will add that as location and time automatically so you don't have to go in and set the time separately to remind you at certain times. So it's smart when it comes to that. It also syncs with your Apple reminders. So if you have a whole bunch of reminders, you use that app, then you can see that right in your calendar, which is kind of handy. Next up is this widget here called Carrot. And it's my Weathers app and I absolutely love this app. I like the way it displays all the information. The second you open it up, it always has this like quirky, like some sort of quirky joke or uh, sarcasm that it throws at you. Engineering forecast. I hope you have copious amounts of chest hair. Which is kind of funny and can brighten up your day when you're having a rainy day. Get it? I also love the way that the weather is displayed on this app. You can see like icons for different, you know, uh, forecasts as well as the temperature. And you can kind of scroll right to left to see the different, uh, you know, times and what the weather is going to be at different times. You can scroll down to see the weather for all the rest of the week as well, um, you know, seven days in advance. See that it says 10.6 centimeters of snow this week. What the heck? I thought we were done with this. The next two widgets we're gonna talk about have to do with finance. The first one is Coinbase, which is an app that is a wallet as well as it shows you information on cryptocurrencies. I like how real time the prices are given. I like how the app displays the main cryptos that I want to view. There's news at the bottom. But yeah, that's my favorite cryptocurrency app right now. Next up, I just use Apple stocks in order to keep track of different stocks. I wish actually Apple stocks kind of showed you your portfolio and you could kind of track how your portfolio is doing. But uh, at the moment, I don't I don't think Apple stocks has that ability. So I just use this to track different stocks that I'm tracking for the week or for the month or whatever. I like the charts and the information updates pretty quickly. So I like this app and I think uh, it gets the job done. Also on that note, I started a finance channel a couple months ago, posted like three videos, haven't posted since then, but I do plan on posting more stuff there. So if you're interested in finance and budgeting and being better with your money, uh, definitely go follow that. I'm gonna link it down in the description down below and also it'll be at the end screen. Let them know in the comment section down below that Tosif Hussain sent you. When it comes to the actual apps, we're gonna start off with the very first one, which I call Smart, which is a smart name for that folder because that has a whole bunch of smart apps in there. So first one is Citus Link. Now this app kind of controls some of the lighting that I was using in my old studio. Still haven't set it up here, so I can't really demonstrate it right now, but it controls some of these aperture lights that I use. Next up is Apple News. What's Apple News? Next up is August. Now this controls the locks at home. Next up is Nest. Now some of the now some of the smart tech inside my home actually is controlled by Nest. Same with Google Home. Philips Hue, same idea. I control some of the lights at home in my studio everywhere with Philips Hue because I have Philips Hue bulbs. Next up is Ember. Ember, this is this is gonna be a video I'm gonna make about soon. So I probably don't want to spoil it, spoil it, but 
it keeps my stuff warm. Uh, next up is the Apple Home. Obviously to help control everything, I can use the Apple Home app for like my HomePod and everything else that is controlled by Apple Home and clock to set my alarm, which I never end up waking up to. And then you get like these like little dark circles. Do you guys see these dark circles under my eyes? My sleep is like whack right now. Okay, next up is, ugh, ah is productivity and in here I have some of the productivity I apps I use every single day there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I like using but this is the stuff that is like my core my go-to which is Apple notes Apple notes I use for jotting down pretty much everything anytime my mind is noisy with anything it goes in Apple notes if you open up Apple notes you pretty much have a peek into my soul and my very being Apple notes clutch next up is things I used to use this a lot more before but now it's kind of replaced it somewhat with the next app I'm gonna talk about but things is pretty good this things three I believe it helps me organize a lot of my thoughts and to-do lists and stuff like that so I like that app but now there's a new app in town which I kind of got from Matt Diavella's video and that is called to do or I don't know how to say it. it's like to do to 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 do to do to do there's no R in it why am I saying R? to to do the app itself on the iPhone is subpar, it's it's meh, but the reason why I have it is because I love using it on the desktop. And that's where I saw Matt Diavella use it, and that gives me a look at my entire week. And I can write down everything I need to do for the week and cross it out. I love how it just crosses out. It makes me feel happy when I can cross something out. I love how this can display my entire week. I can kind of sit and plan ahead of the week what I need to do for the entire week and then kind of just check off or add things, subtract things, move things around as I need be uh, throughout the week. Highly recommend this app. I, it works fantastic. I mean, they have like a trial, so you can check it out and see if it works for you. But yeah, obviously I'm not getting paid or none of this stuff is sponsored. So I'm just sharing some sharing. And the next big cluster of apps is all about finance. I mean, finance is a huge part of my life. In fact, it's like my day job. But yeah, this is where I have like, you know, I do my banking stuff on here sometimes. So I have my Amex, TD, MBNA. One of my investing portfolios is on Quest Trade. Uh, I use like QuickBooks for my business. We uh, I was gonna say Wikipedia. That W throws me off. Well, Simple is another portfolio of mine. Uh, and then of course, BitBuy, Coinbase are for cryptocurrencies. And then Mint is for my own personal finance management. Next up, I'm not gonna cover photos, camera and maps uh, and even iMessage because you guys know what that is. That's basic. I think the last one is this whole cluster of social. And here I have the usual Instagram, Twitter, YouTube Studio, TikTok, Clubhouse. I haven't touched Clubhouse. Uh, like since the first two weeks when it came out and everybody was on it. Uh, Facebook also barely use it. Use it more than Clubhouse though. LinkedIn, Kijiji, and YouTube. Kijiji is kind of like Craigslist um, where you can just buy, sell stuff from other people around you. So, And last but not least, it's that layer of four apps at the bottom, which is phone, uh, Safari, WhatsApp Messenger. But the other one, Spark Email, this one I'll probably talk about a little bit. A huge fan of Spark Email. I think it's the best email client for me right now. I love the UI of it and the way that all the customization that it gives you, what you want your swipe actions to be even snooze emails. All in all, the main reason I love this is because of how good it is in categorizing all my email. But yeah, that's about it. Those are the apps that I use pretty much every single day that are on my home page. If you like this video, then make sure you guys go ahead and crush that like button. Now I'm curious to know if there's some apps that you guys use every single day uh, that you find are very important. Let me know in the comment section down below because I'm always searching for cool apps to add to my arsenal. And I will be making my favorite apps video coming down the line. So I would love to give you a shout out and include that in my next video whenever I put that video out. But yeah, it's Saturday, it's great weather. I'm gonna go uh, hang out with my family now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, stay blessed, peace.